previously on Paradise Cafe. Bring me the seaboard. I want my freedom! 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 Uh, does Halloween come early in this part of the world? <laughs> you failed me, Chloe. You failed us all. Go, while I decide your fate. Any comedian with the catchphrase, ooh, get out of the fridge, needs a new line of work, like grave digging. <laughs> I thought he was funny. You think Sudoku's funny? I'll tell you who I liked. Stacey, Stacey Summers. Summers. What? Is it that obvious? Ty did manage to bounce his popcorn on your head during her set. Hey, pop stars don't grow on trees around here. Control yourself, bro. There she is. Personally, I think she's overrated. And short. Well, I think she's totally got what it takes. It takes talent to spot talent. <laughs> oh. Yes, my boy. There's no business like show business. <sighs> Did it just get chilly? Ooh, get out of the fridge. Regna, please. I don't need any help with my mission. I'm part of the gang now. They trust me. But can I trust you, Chloe? My new man is already at work. You're to help him in every way. With his magic, he will discover who is the Seaborn. collecting samples for the next few days, so I'll be rather heavily focused on my work. OK. So I want you to keep an eye on your sister. She keeps an eye on herself and everyone else. No, I mean it. She's younger than she acts. <sighs> OK, OK, I'll babysit. Good lad. Just, you know, keep an eye, eh? Megan? I'd love to go snorkelling, Robbo, but there's a problem with the cafe. What's wrong? Well, the catering robots haven't arrived yet, so somebody has to actually, you know, work here. <clears throat> what if we don't get any customers in the next 15, <clears throat> 10 minutes? We all go snorkeling. Deal. Oh, dear. Snorkeling's off. Sorry, you can't sit there. Not now. In the future. Reserved. I'll show you another one. <coughs> Not here, either. <sighs> or here. Uh, uh, uh. Here, please. Take a seat. Snorkeling. <laughs> How's business? Not great. It's like a Morgan here. But cheer up, Meg. There'll be other customers. What have the ghosts got against us? 
Why do they keep coming in here and messing everything up over and over again? I wish every ghost on this island would just go and decompose like normal dead people. Maybe they're tired of being ghosts. Bored, even. So let's entertain them. What have you got in mind? No business like show business. We are not entertaining ghosts. Bravo. Shh. Who here would like some entertainment? Too right. That's what we're here for. We've been waiting for years. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go. Think about it. These guys must have been on some fancy cruise ship, complete with luxury theatre. Yeah, they're about to watch some big deal cabaret where, boom, a freak wave flips their boat. And they never get to see their show. It's our duty to entertain them. But then we'll just end up with more sea ghosts. If we give them what they want, they'll leave us alone. That's how ghosts work. Trust me. It's gonna be great. What's gonna be great? We're putting on a show. We are not. Will they be singing? Yes. I've got to go practice. OK, people, listen up. Auditions this afternoon, performance tonight. Let's get this show on the road. signing CDs later. By the way, love the hair. It's a great improvement. That's gonna be a no from me. Ty? Man, everyone's useless. Maybe you could do something. No way. You'll never get me up on stage. Ever. That just leaves... Tonight, I'm gonna sing. Smoke! <laughs> Fire! Was that in the charts? <gasps> I am sorry to be late, gentlemen. Oh. I understand you are looking for an entertainer. Ghosts entertaining other ghosts. It'll be a disaster, I'm telling you. Shh, shh. I am Dr. Herzog, master hypnotist. It would be my humble pleasure to perform at your most prestigious cabaret. If you could show us your act. Are you kidding? He's gonna knock him dead. You're booked. Trust me, boys. I have something very special in store for you. Is in. The stage is set. We're minutes from the action. Oh, this is the business. I can remember making Marlene Dietrich bark like a dog back in 28. I was the toast of Berlin. Crowds flocked to see me. There wasn't a soul who could resist me. Not a soul. I'm a sham. What? I've never hypnotized anyone. I paid people to pretend to be hypnotized on stage. You're joking. Why did you say you'd do our show? The magic of the limelight. I'm a moth to its flame. What am I going to say to the audience? What is this going to do to my reputation? My boys, you must help an old man. You must be my volunteers. Don't worry, Dr. Herzog. The show will go on. That's a bad idea, bro. They make you eat onions like apples and speak in Martian. You'll embarrass us. Not us, mate. You'll do it. My role is strictly behind the scenes. But you promised. You two would be perfect. Trust me. I think I know someone who will be even better.
Things have certainly settled down around here. You want this to fail, don't you? This disaster is not my fault. Well, you're not exactly helping, are you? You expect everyone to do everything you say when it comes to running the cafe, but now you're hardly lifting a finger to make a go of tonight. And you know why? Because it's not your idea. That's not true. It so is. You're just happy that bossy little Megan is right once again, even if it means my night's ruined. Robbo, what do you want me to do? Pal, how would you like to get some stage experience? Me? Yep. Well, what am I going to do? You're the star of the show. I knew it. Will it be just fine? Hey, are you sure about this? Trust me, he's supposed to be scary. First, I need volunteers. Oh. Oh. I'm a genius. Am I right? <laughs> yes, you are. And you're Megan. Uh-huh. Who works harder than anyone else at making this cafe a success. Well, that is true. Because you miss your mother. It's all right, Megan. It's just an act. Good. Now, look deep into the eye of the amulet and empty your mind. Think of nothing. That's it. You are feeling sleepy. Very sleepy. And when I count to three, you will be asleep. One. Two. Three. <laughs> now, when I click my fingers, you will wake up. Abby. You will feel completely normal until I say the word smoothie. And then everything you say will turn into a song and dance. <laughs> Megan, you will stop at nothing to get hold of the amulet. It will grant all your wishes. Wake up. So, Abby. Would you describe for me all that you see? Okay. Um, Megan seems desperate to get hold of. Hold of what? A smoothie? Megan's chasing <laughs> the amulet. She'll never get it out of her She thinks it will grant her all her wishes. Like making Robo do all the dishes. Megan's chasing the amulet. She'll never get it. have been Dr. Herzog. Yeah. I'll be seeing Megan. Listen to that. They love it. Yeah, bro. They love it. Dr. Herzog, you were amazing. <laughs> Artistic temperament. <laughs> my plan is going perfectly. The children are all under my control, one way or another. And with Chloe helping me, nothing can go wrong. 
With my flames, I will uncover which of the children is the seaborn. Yes. About Chloe. She has obeyed you to the letter. Keep an eye on her. I'm beginning to wonder if I can trust her completely. As I say, nothing will go wrong. It had better not, Herzog. For your sake. <laughs> for breakfast. Stacy had a grapefruit and a carrot juice. I'm going down to the cafe. I'll get something there. Well, make sure it's something healthy with some fruit in it, like a, like a smoothie. Yo, you're so right about the chocolate. A healthy fruity smoothie is what I'll get at the cafe for my breakfast. Don't you fret. Remember, nothing tastes as good as Slim Feels. My favorite television show, I want to see you on. Hey, buddy. Hey, mate. Oh, you have to admit, the show was a phenomenal idea. What's the rowdy ghost count out here, Ty? That'll be zilch, Captain. The show's over and the ship has left the harbor. Did you rehearse that? Avoidance. You know it was a great idea, you just can't admit it. In all fairness, you were a class act. You almost had me convinced you were actually hypnotised. What are you talking about? Don't pretend you don't know. I was right, you were wrong. Live with it. Hey, Abby. Great performance last night. Hi. Uh, performance? To show my appreciation, I'm gonna make you a Robo Deluxo smoothie. A smoothie that sounds like a dream. I'd like strawberries, banana, and vanilla ice cream. OK, Abby, show's over. <laughs> hey, Robbo, I've had a change of mind. I'd like papaya, mango, orange, and lime. <laughs> mega. The Paradise Cafe is a place to be. Delicious smoothies and a view of the sea. She's really got the bug. And she's not half bad. I see potential. <gasps> Megan? Visualize the future, Abby. London, Paris. <gasps> Las Vegas, fans screaming your name, deafening applause. Are you seeing something I'm not? Shh. Look at Herzog. No real talent, just a great showman. <sighs> I'm starting to think this summer can be about launching something way bigger than a smoothie bar. If you ask me where I want to be, the answer is easy. I want to be in London. I want to be in Vegas. I want to be in Paris, baby. Miss. You sound like my sister. Exactly. Why isn't she cleaned up? Oh, she's probably in a mood with me. Yeah, cos last night you didn't treat her right. More projection, please, Abby. I'll go look for her. This is just a simple test, right? The amulet, Megan. So desirable, yes? Think of a time when you are happy, Megan. Really, truly happy. 
this amulet can bring you that happiness again. So, why don't you take it? It will make everything all right. It will be the arm around your shoulder. It will tuck you in at night. That's it, Megan. Be free from your burdens. I must have it. <laughs> Megan, no! You're frozen, Chloe. Don't do it, Megan. You'll burn. Not if she's the seaborn. Her power will douse the flames. But if she isn't, you said you wouldn't harm them. I lied. Their pain does not concern me. Just don't hurt her. Megan! One more time, Abby. I'll sing and dance until I drop. Sing and dance, I just can't stop. Bro, something's up. I can't find Megan anywhere. And look at her. She's not right. Mm. Empty your minds. Two, three. Herzog. He tricked us all. He hypnotized the girls for real. And they're still and... under his power. You said you can't find Megan anywhere. Not a trace. It's like she just... Hey, where's Abby gone? Hey, Robert. No. How's it going with Megan? Uh, fine. <laughs> look, I know she thinks she can look after herself, but she does need a big brother like you. She's fine, Dad, honestly. <laughs> Gotta go. Girl trouble. Right. Ah, the bait has arrived. Not long until the fish follow. Run, Abby, run! Now, my dear, the amulet is waiting. Megan! Careful, little hero. Whatever you want, take it from me. Let my sister go. It's not what I want, Robo. It's what she wants. Megan, wait. Don't do it. But she must. She won't stop until she has the amulet. If you want it, I'll get it. No! Not exactly my thing. What time is it, Slackers? Shouldn't we be back at the cafe? Oh. Can anyone tell me why I'm up to my ankles in bat poo? <laughs> Spotted something was up with Herzog. I should have trusted you. No, it wasn't just me. Chloe saw it too. That's why you followed Herzog to the cave, right? Right. He seemed like trouble. We've had trouble before, but this was something else. From now on, we're really going to have to watch out for each other. Enjoying your day, girls? Uh, yeah. How's Stacy Summers? I've been practicing one of her routines. Stacy who? Oh, <laughs> no, she left. Thankfully, so full of herself. But you have to meet Elena Pavlova, the gymnast. She's just checked in today. Now, she really is something. I don't know about you, but I feel like a smoothie. A smoothie? Yeah, that sounds really good. Ah, good lad. 
Bull's Eye to know they'd all go through the flames at once. They're uncontrollable, anarchic. Uncontrollable, says the hypnotist. Pathetic. They're only children. I do have news of your spy, Chloe. Tell. She's on their side. She won't let them get hurt. It's not that I'm trying to protect the children, Herzog. But your methods are too extreme. You see, she does care. What I care about is that you've just made them all suspicious. And from now on, they'll be a lot more careful. The girl's right, Herzog. But I... I it's I, too I... late for excuses. Back in charge of the mission, Chloe. I trust you'll be more successful than Herzog. Well, at least all the ghosts have gone. Stardom is so yesterday. Being a gymnast is so much cooler. It just leaves you, babe. No. No. No! So I said, ooh, get out of the fridge. Get out of the fridge. Because uh, it was... Ooh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's been a great audience. Oh, thank you, madam. Clapping, if you are a madam. Next time on Paradise Cafe. School reunion three. Yes, and all the stars are coming. More money, more fun. My boy, Ty. <sighs> wow. Just give us a chance to make you some money for a day or two. You know I won't let you down. How about you accompanying me? to the most glamorous and exciting party, like, ever. It'll be totally like... So you were saying something about a totally what party? Sean the Sheep starts Monday at 4.20, CBBC on BBC One.